first time I ever did stand-up comedy, I was 14 years old. And you don't have anything to talk about whenever you're 14. So I was a weird kid, so I leaned all the way into the absurdism thing. Oh, your baby! Did you see the baby? Did the baby play today? Oh, the baby! Oh, did you see the baby? Oh, did the baby move? Did you see a baby move its arm? Fly! Look at the baby move its arm! Look at the baby move its arm! I remember I prepared a 30-minute set, and I had like months to practice on this. So I just practice in front of the mirror, like all the time. And I remember whenever I was practicing, I was just envisioning myself walking on the stage to a fog machine and grabbing the microphone and throwing the microphone cable out like Chris Rock and pacing the stage. Didn't do any of those things. It was 2 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon at a fair in front of kids my own age and some parents that were supervising their children. They can't hurt us anymore. I seriously doubt Arkansas people are smart enough to figure out that they can't drive their cars on water. But if they try, they'll drown because they probably can't swim either. And one of the bits that I had, I had never been to Arkansas. I don't have anything against Arkansas. But I did an entire stand-up bit about how people from Arkansas were retarded and they shouldn't be allowed to drive. And I remember there were people that were there viewing and then they were just like really mad and they started like booing me. And it crushed me because that was my first time ever doing stand-up comedy. So when I got done doing stand-up, I went home and I felt sorry for myself. The only way I knew how to. I got on Napster and downloaded a bunch of sad Ozzy Osbourne songs and was just listening to it. There's this Ozzy Osbourne song that's like, I'm just a dreamer, I dream my life away. And I'm like sitting under the covers like crying. <laughs> and I remember my dad walked in the door. He just like cracked the door while Ozzy Osbourne's playing. And he's like, son, show business is hard. You're entering into a hard business. I'm, I'm not even kidding you. That's what he said. And he just closed the door and I cried. And it, my bubble popped. The number one reason why failure is good for you is because it pops the bubble of expectation. There's nothing better than getting out of your navel-centered expectations of false reality. Now, like, as an artist, there's this whole thing to where you have the image in your head and then you have the image in reality. And a lot of times they're miles apart, especially when you first start doing art. But as you get better, that gap closes more and more. And what you're chasing as an artist is to be able to mesh with what's in your head to what is in reality. And sometimes it looks totally different and it's actually better than what was in your head. But the goal is, is to make these two things meet as an artist. And as you do this more and more, you get closer to that, but it's not gonna happen unless you fail. So I think the number two reason why failure is good for you is because it teaches you how to deal with rejection. I remember hearing this thing about how Robin Williams, when he wanted to uh, say something that was crazy or he had like too much anxiety around a joke and he's like, oh, this is gonna offend people. He would do a silly voice and it allowed him to be able to say something that was kind of nuts, but it also made it like more palatable. And I sort of took that idea and I was like, man, if I just do characters, I can kind of get out of my shell because I'm not, I'm not being me. They're not rejecting me. I'm, I'm like putting on a voice and, and being silly and making people laugh that way. So people thought that I was like this insanely bold, confident person because I would do these really big characters and I'd be so flagrant. But really, I was so terrified of people seeing the real me that I would put on a mask and I would like do all these different characters, you know? And reading that Robin Williams quote where he said that characters allowed him to do what he wanted to do, I'm paraphrasing the quote, but he talked about this. It showed me that I could do that. And so characters allowed me to be able to avoid feeling rejected. So I remember I submitted to Nickelodeon's search for the funniest kid in America. Matt Jones could soon be named America's funniest kid for obvious reasons. And the top five kids got flown out to California to be in the show, all that, okay? Now, during this time in high school, I did two things. All I did was one-man shows, and I practiced characters in front of the mirror all day long. So I sent in this tape, and it got selected. And then I was the top 50 funniest kids in America. Then they narrowed it down to 25 and I was in the top 25. And then they narrowed it down to 10, and I was in the top 10 funniest kids in America. Someone tell me what kind of a world we live in.
Okay, Jim, why did you like Matt? Nicholas? I liked Matt because he was great with the characters. You know what I mean? He really knew his character thing, and that's what you need to be all that. Mm -hmm. Joshua? Um, I thought his facial gestures were just amazing. They were going from, like, you know, from crazy to, like, cool, and then back to crazy again. Amanda Bynes? Um, I think Matt is very funny. He's obviously very talented. Um, he reminds me of Jerry Lewis a little bit, right. and Jim Carrey. Um, he's really funny. And I still remember it like it was yesterday. I was working at Wendy's the night that they were choosing the top five. And I called my mom on the work phone. Did I get in the top five funniest kids in America? Because I knew I was going to get flown out to California and be on the show all that. And my mom goes, no, honey, they didn't select you. And I remember at that time, like, I could just feel my stomach drop. And I was crushed. But that rejection prepares you for things that come later in life. So the number two reason why... I think failure makes you a better person is because it prepares you for rejection. Failure is rejection. The more you're rejected, the more you see it's not a big deal and you just have to keep moving. So the number three reason why I think failure is good is because it teaches you how to be calm. There's nothing more annoying to people than someone who is always posturing. It comes out in a lot of different ways. It's tough guys, guys who are just trying to get you to see that they're an alpha, or it's the exact opposite guys that are just always virtue signaling and they're just always, I'm a male feminist. There's so many masks that you can wear in extreme opposite directions. And the posturing is what pushes people away. And once again, it goes back to wanting something too much. People don't like posturing, man. And people can feel it, especially as a comedian, people can feel it. I remember one time before I went on stage, I was listening to Eminem's Lose Yourself. You know, you better lose yourself in the moment, moment, you want it, you better never let it go. You only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. And I'm listening to this before I go on stage. And uh, I bomb, because I put so much pressure on myself. It's like, dude, you're gonna have more than one shot. This is not your only shot to blow. It's actually crazy because I've had a lot of bombs that are like that. Not a lot, well, no, yeah, a lot, you know? I mean, at least more than 10 um, that were very significant in my life and, 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 and drove me crazy. I remember one time I was doing a comedy competition and I got so upset after I bombed that I took my seatbelt off and then I just started flooring my car down Lancashire Boulevard, like, ah! like just going nuts and after that, I drove up to Mulholland Drive, which is this lookout point in Los Angeles to where you can see the whole city. And I was like crying and I was like punching the steering wheel. And I got out of Mulholland Drive because it seemed poetic to do it. And I got out over the lookout and I started screaming at Jesus. And then I got back in my Camry and then went and got chicken wings. Um, I'm in a 12, I'm in two 12 step programs and I think step number one is um, you realize you're powerless and a lot of people they don't like that because they're like what are you saying are you telling people they're powerless it's like over their addiction yeah because when you admit that you're powerless over something you kind of just let go and the second step is you turn your problems over to God and you take your hand off the steering wheel. If you are holding on to something too tight and um, you can't deal with failure, you can't deal with rejection, find a way to get over it. Because the brain that got you into this is usually not the brain that's going to get you out of it. So you need some help. So guys, those are my three reasons why I think failure makes you a better person. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, don't give it a thumbs down because you're hurting the algorithm and you're hurting me. And I know by me saying that, it makes some trolls that live in their grandparents' basement want to do that more. But just don't, okay? Give me a thumbs up. Even if it's a sympathy thumbs up, a pity thumbs up, give it to me. Give it to me. I need it. I don't mean any of the things I said. I did all this to get the thumbs up. Everything I said, cancel that out. Um, so guys, this has been brought to you by Vesby. Vesby is a super app that you can download in the App Store. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. We're actually behind the scenes right now on Vesby. It's an awesome app and uh, you can get shirts, Anxiety Land. So if you wanna wear a shirt that says Anxiety Land with my cartoon face on it and everybody's like, what's that? And you're like, that is Matt Jones' YouTube channel. It has 925 subscribers, but if you subscribe, it's gonna have 926. Guys, this has been an amazing time with you. God bless you. I hope this information helps and I hope you use it. Bye-bye.